Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Welcome everyone, courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Ali LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. So a moment now to see the story for Tim Hardaway. Effective field goal percentage is a great way to measure his performance over the previous 10 games. It's been much improved, a sign that his game has been evolving. And we've got just enough time for a pregame report. Let's go over to the sidelines where Ali LaForce is standing by. Ali? Thanks, Brian. CJ McCollum is looking to evolve his game. He said, quote, I can get out of bed and get 20. Now I need to score efficiently, make my teammates better, and impact the game in every facet. You get older, the maturity level shifts, and you understand what needs to be done. Guys? Well, looking to show how he can impact winning, Ali. Thanks for that. This should be an active game. Two squads that really move the ball well and share the load offensively, Brent. Well, we got some great playmakers out here, B.A., so it's a multitude of guys who are going to be able to survey the floor, maybe make that backdoor play or that lob pass to the rim. It's going to be a lot of fun. So here's Dallas's starting group. They've got Kyrie Irving, Dwight Powell out there with Reggie go. Bullock. Then it's Green, and it's Doncic in at the point. And for New Orleans, we've got Jonas. Valentunas, Josh Richardson out there with C.J. McCollum. Then it's Brandon Ingram, and it's Jones in at small forward. Now here's McCollum. Outside Ingram. Shot clock at five. The Mavericks pull it in. Doncic outside. 14 feet away. Yes, it's good. And just such an accurate shooter. I mean, give Luka any room to get his shot off, and he'll take it. McCollum against Doncic. Now here's Richardson. To the paint. Here's Valanciunas. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. About a minute played here so far in the first. Doncic passes to Irving. Up and over Richardson. And no good trying to use the glass. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Oh, swiped away. Pass to Irving. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Doncic with the bucket. And Kyrie with that feel. Man, it's so special. Impressive. Finds a teammate. That's a direct dime. McCullum outside. To the inside. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. The defensive effort was lacking a bit. But hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Doncic, an elite offensive player, averaging just over 33 a game. And Powell with the stuff. Really tough to predict what Kyrie is going to do because he's so special playing out of the pick and roll. The Pelicans have gone two of three from the floor. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power. Greg. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do. Finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. Yeah, kind of weird to say body control with a guy who doesn't get up off the floor, but Balanchunas shows some there. And so it's Dallas with it. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Outside, Green. Powell, a screen on Jones. Green, the pass to Powell. Stolen by Valanciunas. Outside, Richardson. Doncic against McCullum. Back to Richardson. Let's it go from deep. That's good. And it's McCullum with the assist. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. 
Richardson against Irving. Doncic outside. Outside for Irving. Six to shoot. And the three-pointer goes. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now here's McCollum. He came away with 14 points in his last game. Outside Richardson. Out to McCollum. Alan Chunas with a screen on Doncic. Here's McCollum. Mavericks with a rebound. Alan Chunas, good. Alan Chunas has got six points. Well, the effort and the power that Alan Chunas can play with puts him in great position to grab rebounds like that. On the wing, Green. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. And defense is all about will and desire. Here are the NBA leaders in steals so far. Number one, Josh Richardson. His defensive focus has been superb these last few games. Continuously finding ways to strip ball handlers and upset the offense. McCollum against Doncic. McCollum outside. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by McCollum. Here's Doncic. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And going right through the contact, Luka has tremendous strength, especially for a guy who handles the ball so much. as the free throw drops in for him. And with more of the season behind us than ahead of us, these teams have more or less taken their final form, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I mean, everyone's done a good job moving pieces around and figuring out what works. Now it's just about protecting your record and getting it done out there. Now here's Ingram. What, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Richardson, that's good. Richardson's pretty consistent at draining that three ball. The D can't allow him to get too comfortable while he's camped out behind the arc. Here's Irving. To the middle. Kicks it to Doncic. Outside Irving. Beyond the arc. And the Mavericks, another three. three. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Now here's Ingram. Looking at his stats, he's getting just over 23 points a game. Doncic pulls down the board. Dallas has gone two of two at the perimeter. Pass to Bullock. Now Powell. He drops it in from the low post. Powell's got his second basket. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Alan Chunas with a screen on Doncic. McCullum shot is off. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks Kevin like he's pressing a bit. Inside. Here's Powell, and that one drops. Powell's got six. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Outside Ingram. There's McCullough with the three. It falls. He's now two of five from the field. He was so good off the pass. McCollum set up and ready at all times. The Mavericks leading. Now Irving. Playing Utah, he was nearly unstoppable. From 11 feet away, and that one hits the back iron. 
New Orleans has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Here's Richardson. The shot, no good. And it's Dallas the other way. They defeated Utah in their last game. What about their offense? It was a well-oiled machine, getting them high-quality looks time and time again. And in talking with the coaching staff, they said in that game, they did a great job of not settling. They keep working the ball around, finding the best look. Let's see if they can keep that up. And here are the Pelicans now. Trailing by four. I think about New Orleans and, and the atmosphere that is around this city and kind of vibrancy to it. It can be challenging for professional athletes here. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Here's Bullock. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. They have no answer defensively inside. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. And the food and fun atmosphere of New Orleans is certainly infectious, Brent. Oh, no doubt. Incredible tradition down here and so much great food, B.A. I mean, right now I'm thinking about a beignet. How about you and me after the game? We go grab something, yeah? Oh, that sounds good, man. Maybe a little crawfish at Touffet. Aye. I left my wallet back at the hotel. That's not good. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. New Orleans calls timeout. And the Pelicans will go for a different look here. Nance, he's checked in for Valanchunas. Marshall comes in for Brandon Ingram. Murphy, he's checked in for Jones. And Alvarado's subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Pelicans trail. Outside Richardson. And it's blocked by Irving. <laughs> How about that? I mean, if Irving's blocking shots, that's a great sign for this team. And here's Doncic outside. That shot missing. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Pass to Alvarado. Richardson for three. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. And he'll head to the line. Richardson playing with boundless energy. Great at going into the physical defense and drawing the foul. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Dallas. They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder Reset. of the game. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. First free throw is good. And this Mavericks team, Grant, they are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. And he's good on the second. So much inside of Josh Richardson that is yet to be tapped into. An athletic shooting guard who can play both ends of the floor. And he nails the third. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. Now here's Irving. Nine points in the game. And it's Doncic missing. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Here's Marshall. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. Yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. The first one falls. Oh, 
Both good from the line that time. The Mavericks leading. Outside Irving. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Irving's got 11 points. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Here's Daniels. Nance with a screen on Irving. Pass to Nance. To the left wing. Here's Alvarado. Just five to shoot. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Daniels. That one's true. Yeah, a complete offensive player. Daniels can set people up, and he can knock down shots. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. Doncic is double. Hardaway on the wing. Wood with the screen. Gets a very good look and converts. And the Mavericks lead by three. Yeah, so some operation right there out of the pick and roll. And Hardaway Jr. making a smart decision in that set. Nance with a screen on Doncic. Down low. Pass to Murphy. Over to the wing. The three ball. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. We've got 123 left in the first. Irving with it. He's got 11. Three-pointer. That's good from Hardaway on the assist from Irving. Hardaway's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Here's Alvarado. Looking for his first basket still in this one. To the inside. Nance. And Nance with the slam. It's just so easy the way Larry Nance Jr. just gets up off the floor. Dallas has gone four or five from distance here in the first quarter. And here is Irving. He's given them steady production at over 27 points a game. Let's go with a three. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. And he looks like he's going to get it. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Four-point game. And we've got 28 seconds left in the first. Pass to Alvarado. Nance with a screen on Irving. Here's Alvarado. Fires from deep. The shot misses. Now here's Irving. 14 points for him. Puts it up. Can't cash it in from close range. Kyrie Irving has been on display for the Mavericks with four three-pointers in the quarter alone, proving he's a threat at the arc. We'll be right back with you shortly. break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. Dallas has gone five of six from three-point land so far. We've got Brandon Ingram. C.J. McCollum is out there with Josh Richardson. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Jones in at the three. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. The Pelicans trail. Now McCollum. Pass to Valentunas. Outside Jones. Down to five on the shot clock. 
can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. I mean, that was just terrific work to stay in control and finish. And the postseason is always something to look forward to in the NBA. Grant, as a player, when you're in there, how different is playoff basketball from the regular season? Well, first of all, B.A., it's the best time of the year. Playoff basketball, the intensity raises to another level. Both teams making adjustments within the series. You have to know your counters. Really, at the end of the day, it's who wants it more and who can execute on both ends of the floor with the most consistency throughout the series. Nails it from three. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Here's McCollum. It's rebounded by Dallas. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Hardaway's shot is good. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Now here's McCollum. He's got five. And Valanciunas with the bucket on the assist by McCollum. Valanciunas moving very well right there, able to slip by the defender. A little contact. That's not enough. He still gets the finish. Here's Hardy. They're leading by eight. Outside Hardaway. Fires the three. McCollum pulls it in. For New Orleans, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. And there's the drive. Hardaway grabs the board. It wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. Pass to Hardy. Ingram against Powell. Over Ingram. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Here's Ingram. And here's Valanciunas. Fades back. And he can't get that one. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. To the paint. Oh, stolen by Richardson! McCullum right side. Inside. Here's Valanciunas, and he drains it. A solid five for six now. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Irving against Richardson. To the middle. McCollum with a steal. Richardson's got space. And it's Irving with a rebound. And the defense gets bailed out by the miss. He usually converts that. Powell, a screen on Jones. Pass to Hardaway. The three is up. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Now here's Valanciunas. Ten points for him. Valanciunas sets a screen. Here's Ingram. Can't hit that one. And it's Dallas the other way. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And when Pelicans fans watch what Ingram has become, it takes the sting out of the Anthony Davis trade, Greg. Yeah, I mean, Ingram has grown into a full-fledged star in New Orleans. I mean, he's a centerpiece for the franchise going forward. Now, looking back, it seems like it was a win-win trade for both teams. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. They trail by 14. And at home for the next one, it'll be Oklahoma City pulling in. It'll be the second game of four straight at home. Irving against Richardson. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Kyrie Irving. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. The line for your Pelicans, Josh Richardson. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him.
and so he hits both. <laughs> They've been impeccable from the line here in the second period, doing what they can to try to build some momentum. Hardaway with a screen on McCollum. And Doncic hammers it home. That's what happens when you let Doncic get this close, using his vertical to perfection. Here's McCollum. He's got five. And out of bounds, Dallas will have it. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the New Orleans Pelicans. On Saturday, they'll host the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up with Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And for that game against the Lakers, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. You just hope they are able to execute their game plan as it should be a close one. Outside, green. Offline with a three. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Ingram, the pass to McCollum. Here's Valanchunas. Powell covers. Pass to Ingram. Valanchunas with a screen on Doncic. Just four to shoot. Ingram finds Valanchunas. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Defensive foul. And one thing you know you'll always get with Valanchunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Holiday comes in for Hardaway. One shot. And with his size and reach, Valanciunas is a monster on the boards, Grant. That is true. I mean, impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and just vacuums missed shots. And his great touch allows him to rack up second chance points as well. And Doncic launches from deep. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Off the catch and shoot, Luka is just about automatic. Doesn't waste any time getting to his shot. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. A peek at our 2K leaderboard. The best scoring point guard since the All-Star break. Second, Luka Doncic. And this group of guys, they have an innate ability to not only score at will, but to create for others. They're the complete package. Well, he is the modern point guard defined. Players who aren't just out there to direct traffic and keep the ball moving, but guys who can be the entire offense at times by themselves. Just tremendous scores. Now here's McCollum. He's got five. Ingram finds McCullum. Back to Ingram. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Well, really good ball movement on the entire possession. And then CJ getting slick. Here's Holiday to the paint. Here's Doncic. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Doncic has got 14 points for the game. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. The Pelicans have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Richardson against Holiday. Left side Ingram. That one goes. Count it. Ingram's got four points now in the quarter. Well, when Ingram gets the ball on the inside, his length can really help him out to create shot opportunities. Holiday passes to Doncic. Up and over McCollum. And it's Dallas scoring again. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Pass to Richardson. Alan Chunas with a screen on Holiday. Here's Richardson. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And the Pelicans will go for a different look here. Nance, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Marshall comes in for Brandon Ingram. Murphy, he's checked in for Jones. And Alvarado's subbed in for McCollum. And Dallas also making a switch. Woods checked in for Powell. Boy, 
Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Now here's Doncic. We saw him with 29 points in his last game. Holiday has the open look. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got five assists in the game. The Pelicans have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Outside Richardson. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. At the line for your Pelicans, Josh Richardson. At the line for two. Two. And he knocks down the first one. Well, your Hall of Fame dad, Rick, made some interesting comments, Brent. One of them, encouraging the league to crack down on illegal screens. No way, B.A. My dad said something that was controversial or interesting. You got to get, get out of here. Yeah, I mean, illegal screens, do we want to see less of them? Sure. Old shot's good from the strike. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Richardson against Holiday. Here's Green, and that one's good. That makes him two for three. It's just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's Murphy. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Just five on the clock. From deep. Doncic pulls down the board. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting a legendary 79%. Their offense is just on a tear. Pass to Wood. Holiday with the ball. 11 points for him last game against Utah. Here's Doncic. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got assist number five here tonight. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Here's Alvarado. Now well, quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Shot is good by Nance. I'd like to see Larry Nance Jr. keep working on the interior part of his game. Shots like this can help his confidence. Boy, we're seeing inspired play out of them. And that's certainly reflected in the score. And Doncic puts up a deep three. And it's Richardson with the rebound. The Pelicans have gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far in the second. Oh, come on, B.A. I mean, where's the defense? That's just too easy. Yeah, they got to do a much better job and help. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. And here's Holiday. He's averaging almost five points a game. Now, here's Green, tightly guarded. That's good from Holiday on the assist by Green. Holiday's got five points now in the quarter. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Richardson with a screen on Green. Here's Murphy. Mavericks with a rebound. Doncic passes to Holiday. Outside, Green. The three is up. And no good. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Now here's Holiday. Five points in the game. A minute 15 left to play in the second quarter. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Holiday's got a lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. 
Nance with a screen on Doncic. Hacked on the shot, and that'll send him to the line for three. And here's the look now at the last few months of assist numbers for Luka Doncic. One aspect of his game that suffered the past few months, passing the basketball. He hasn't shown that same creativity that we've seen from him earlier in the year, and his assists are down. And he's good on the first of three. And the Mavericks with some changes. McGee comes in for Kleba. And Irving is subbed in for Doncic. And the second free throw is good. And he makes all three. 58 seconds left to play in the second quarter. On the wing, Holiday. Give him eight. Pass to Irving. Gets it to go. He's now nine for 11 on the night. Well, we know Kyrie Irving can carry a full boat offensively, but his scoring tonight has been next level. Here's Alvarado. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. JaVale McGee. Set in personal foul. At the line for your Republicans, Jose Alvarado. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Hardy, he's checked in for green. Fall, so he hits both of them. The Mavericks shooting a sensational 78% from the field in this game. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Now here's Irving. He's got 25. Shot clock at six. Pulls it. A rare miss for him. And so it's Dallas up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. We'll be back in a moment. Hey, everybody, it's halftime. Boy, it's been a rough go so far for the New Orleans Pelicans. When you look at their multiple areas of weakness, for me, it starts with their perimeter defense. Disorganization, chaos, a lot of wide open looks. They have to communicate better and stay connected to the shooters. And now we can turn our attention forward. Let's take a look at what lies ahead on the schedule. And looking at this slew of road games should give them some time to gel. This could be a defining point in their season. Yeah, sometimes road games serve as a catalyst for growth. We'll see if it works out that way tonight. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. the second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Well, you look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He's been everywhere. Yeah, he plays such a smart first half, maximizing his opportunities offensively. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. 
And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. On the court right now for the Mavericks. Reggie Bullock is out there with Green. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then it's Luka Doncic. And it's Irving in a shooting guard. Now Richardson. Valanchunas finds McCullum. Outside Richardson. Outside Ingram. Pass to McCullum. There's the triple. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Ingram's got his fourth assist in this one. Brandon Ingram has been very serious about his commitment to grow his game. And it's showing up in his playmaking ability. Doncic, no good. New Orleans has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. McCullum with it. Outside Ingram. Clock at 6. And as it goes out of bounds, New Orleans will keep possession. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. No good, a bit long that time. Yeah, the assist numbers for Ingram have been steadily improving. It'd be awesome to talk to Brandon Ingram about the details, B.A., that he's seeing on the floor and how the game is slowing down in this facet. Not the scoring side, but in how he's recognizing defenses on the floor and just how he's manipulating them much better. Now here's Richardson. 16 points for him. Can't connect from short range. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Green for three. And the Mavericks, another three. Trust Doncic to make smart moves with the ball. He puts it in the hands of a guy with a wide open shot. For New Orleans, they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Pass to Valentunas. Now here's McCollum. Alan Chunas with a screen on Doncic. Here's McCollum. Ooh, rejected by Doncic. And the shot goes down. McCollum's got 10. And let's take another look at that exceptional drive, thanks to Mobile One. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Doncic against McCollum. Here's Irving. The Pelicans pull it in. Launches a three, and the Pelicans hit again from deep. Well, McCollum just catching the defense asleep right there. I don't know why you would be. CJ, such a devastating score. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Goes back up. Back to Irving. Pass to Powell. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got five assists in the game. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Now here's Ingram. He has seven. McCullum outside. From deep. They grab their own miss. Outside for Ingram. And here's Richardson. Alan Chunas with a screen on Irving. Four on the clock. Richardson, the pass to McCullum. Fires in the triple. McCollum's got 11 in the second half. Well, they're still losing, but it's not because of him. He's been lights out this quarter. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Valanchunas. Down low. And the dunk by Valanchunas. I like seeing Josh Richardson distribute the ball, especially when his teammates are wide open. That makes for an easy pass. The Mavericks have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Irving, the pass to Doncic. It's Bullock on the wing. And the Mavericks, another three! No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. And so it's New Orleans with it. A 12-point game. Alan Chuna sets a screen from 13. And another basket for New Orleans. 
they just look so overwhelmed inside. But that's why they continue to get attacked. Richardson against Irving. Now here's Doncic. Defense is right there. Good on the bucket. We've seen why Doncic is a perennial MVP candidate. He's taken over completely at the offensive end. Richardson against Irving. Ingram. That one's good for two. Ingram's got 11. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Doncic against McCollum. Outside. Green. Here's Irving. Second chance shot. And he takes it up and lays it in. Irving's got five points in the quarter. You just never know where the shots are going to come from, from Kyrie on the inside. So creative with his finishes. Ingram with the ball. Picked up by Powell. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Dallas. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. That free throw, good from Ingram. And you add the length to the skill set that Brandon Ingram brings to every game. You really have a tough matchup for any opponent. And Dallas calls time here. And coming back from the All-Star break, these are the squads that are filling it up from downtown. The Mavericks, number one. As the season has gone on, the ball has gone in more and more. You like the trend, and they're in a terrific rhythm offensively. his third bucket of the night and that's a defensive lapse a shooter of his caliber can't be left wide open here's McCollum oh he connects his seventh basket he's seven of 15 now CJ has always had that uncanny ability to just land on his feet kind of like a cat he absorbs that contact and completes the play Dallas has got four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third Outside Irving. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Irving's got seven points here in the quarter. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. New Orleans has gone three of four from outside in the second half. McCullum pass to Valanchunas. Back to McCullum. Drives to the hoop. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. McCollum's got 20 points. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. The Mavericks have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Hardaway with it. 11 points in the game. Here's Bullock. Mavericks, another three. So many different offenses that Tim Hardaway Jr. has played in, but he's trying to improve in his on-court awareness. A good show of it there. Well, New Orleans shooting the rock at 58%. McCullum outside. The Mavericks pull it in. Irving's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Hardaway. Can't get it to go. His second miss in six tries. McCullum outside. 
Pass to Ingram. Over Irving. Oh, what a play by Brandon Ingram. Ingram's got 16 points. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Outside Irving. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, when your point guard is Kyrie Irving and he decides to mix it up on the inside, that helps out your ball club. Kyrie Irving, taking two shots. That free throw good from Irving. Kyrie is such an unpredictable player in a lot of ways, but when he's on, there are few players in the league that can match up with his pure scoring ability. The Mavericks making a switch here. Woods checked in. Both free throws good from Irving. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. Valanciunas sets a screen. As one of the top two-way players in the draft, Daniels was on a lot of teams' radar, and that kind of versatility will always get a player some attention. For your Drops the first. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. He's perfect from the line this time. The Mavericks on offense. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Wood. Outside Hardaway. Six on the shot clock. For three, Hardy hits the trifecta. Hardy's got his first three points of the game. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. The three from Valanciunas. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. When he was in the G League, Daniels proved he was an effective passer. So we know he can spot an open man for sure. The Mavericks shooting the ball incredibly well tonight. 73% from the floor. Wood outside. Hardaway on the wing. Kleba with a screen. The 11-footer. Hardaway shot is good. Hardaway's got 13 now. Yeah, whenever he's got a little room, if the ball's in his hands, Hardaway Jr. looking to score. And Tim Hardaway Jr., a valuable offensive weapon, even if he's a bit of a volume shooter, Brad. Yeah, B.A., I mean, his efficiency has never been a selling point. But he consistently will fill up the box score and always willing to shoot and can create for himself. And it's the Mavericks with the ball, following the score by New Orleans. And it's the Pelicans on the break. Here's Alvarado. And the deficit down inside single digits. Seven points in the game. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Here's Hardy. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Misses the three. The Pelicans trail. Here's Daniels. Valanciunas down low. He's checked by Kleba. Counted. Good. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. 
getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Here's Hardy. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Murphy. Up and over Hardaway. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. 125 left in the third quarter here. Here's Wood. Here's Hardy. Back to Hardaway. From the arc. Murphy pulls it in. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost him. Pass to Alvarado to the inside. Now here's Valanciunas. Valanciunas sets a screen. Murphy. And it's New Orleans with another. The Mavericks leading. There's 45 seconds left in the third. Nance, he's checked in for Valanciunas. McGee, he's checked in for Dallas. Holiday comes in for Bullock. Substitution on the court. There's 39 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. He drops it from range. Woods got himself on the board with a three there. They haven't relied on him as much as usual, but when his number has been called, he shot well enough to help them earn the lead. Here's Daniels. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Mavericks shooting 70% from the field. A performance that has been fun to watch. Out of bounds, it'll be Pelican's ball. The Mavericks making a switch here. Checking in for the Mavericks. Yeah, just hold for the last shot. Don't give them another possession at all. And yeah, hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Here's Daniels. No good on the buzzer beater. Kyrie Irving has been on display for the Dallas Mavericks. He's been an offensive force. Now with over 30 points after the quarter. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. And the Pelicans' shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. Herb Jones out there with Brandon Ingram. Then there's C.J. McCollum. Then it's Larry Nance. And it's Alvarado in at the two. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Well, the one thing about Larry Nance Jr. that stands out to me is that he's willing to do anything at that big position. He'll play five, he'll play four, and he's comfortable starting or coming off the bench. Coaches love guys who will just accept the role that they're given. Shooting one. Brent, what I love about Nance Jr. is that he does a little bit of everything. Yeah, he holds the team together, B.A., as well. So you plug him in, he's going to move the ball, he'll do the dirty work, and that's the kind of thing that just brings the team together. Every minute he's out there, he's trying to contribute to winning. From deep, here's Doncic. Another shot, and it's laid in by McGee. McGee's got his first basket. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Here's McCollum. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It goes on Kyrie Irving. Well, McCollum is pretty 
deft at changing speeds, and that time he did it driving to the rim. At the line for two. And he makes a first. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. The Mavericks making a switch here. Green is checked in. And McCollum drops them both. C.J. McCollum has been a scoring machine for years. And the fact he does it with that much balance off the bounce makes him fun to watch. Now here's Doncic. Pass to McGee. Shoots over Nance. McGee's shot is off. Jones, the pass to McCollum. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Outside Jones. Clock at six. Nance the screen. Here's Alvarado. The three. Al pulls it in. Well, and with McCollum, his combo guard skill set would be valuable for any roster. No doubt about it, B.A. I mean, this guy not only can score, get into the mid-range and shoot threes, give him some ball handling duties. Have him set some guys up on the pick and roll, and C.J. can get the job done. Here's McCollum. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Nance finds McCullum. And he banks in the layup. McCullum's got 24. Well, McCollum undersized at his position, at least in terms of his strength. But he can play that way because he competes. That's a tough one there. The Mavericks have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Back to Doncic. Doncic is doubled. Left side Irving. And the shot goes in. Irving's got 11 points here in the second half. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And here are the Pelicans now. After the Mavericks picking up a basket just a moment ago. And Nance with the slam. Yeah, for Nance Jr., it's about the quickness with which he can be impactful. Here's Irving. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Doncic with it. Nance covering. And Powell with the stuff. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Here's McCollum. Pass to Alvarado. Nance with a screen on Irving. Inside. Mavericks with a rebound. Irving's got a rebound number five here tonight. Doncic outside. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got six assists here tonight. At about 230 pounds, Doncic is a low down low. New Orleans calls timeout. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for the Pelicans. Richardson comes in for Alvarado. Bullock, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey guys, well, Willie Green had some advice for the team over that last break. And he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. The Pelicans have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Pass to Ingram. And here's Jones. Outside Richardson. Wing shot on the way. 
That shot off. And it's Dallas the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Well, that equals his three-point three total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Boy, the Pelicans have really had a tough go here. Here's McCollum. Man, he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And C.J. McCollum getting more on-ball action after his move away from Portland, Grant. And McCollum has showed that's where he's best. Great at breaking down defenders and setting up others. He looks very natural as the primary playmaker. First one at the line is good. Just a smooth scorer is C.J. McCollum, and that combination of being confident and crafty keeps helping him pile up points in terms of his career statistics. Now he's at the line. And McCollum drops them both. I felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half. But really, he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Now here's Irving. Doncic outside. Uses the glass on the layup. Doncic has got seven points for the quarter. And the strength of Doncic allows him to play through contact. Surprised he didn't get the star treatment there. No whistle. They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. Back to McCollum. And he makes it on the layup. He's a new man this half, playing with much better intensity and getting results. Dallas has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Doncic is double. It's Powell on the wing. Back to Doncic. Pass to Bullock. McCollum against Doncic. Five to shoot. Here's Bullock. 4-3. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Doncic has got 10 assists here tonight. So active. The Pelicans have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Left side Ingram. Here's Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. He has the right partner, Ingram, creating the offense in the pick and roll. And that's a nice read. The Mavericks have gotten eight of ten attempts in. Very productive here in the fourth. To the paint. Here's Doncic. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. When you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic, he has some of the best court awareness in the league. And that shows up most with his passing and body control. For two. Drops a first, and the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. Doncic hits them both. And when we talk about franchise players, guys who can carry a team, Luka Doncic is one of the few guys in that category. Now here's Ingram. Shoots from 14. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Irving's got six rebounds now in the game. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Doncic right side. Back to Irving. Shot clock at six. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Josh Richardson. And he tried to guard Kyrie without fouling, and that is a challenge unto itself. So nimble with the ball and that shifty handle. Two shots. 
Shooting two. That free throw good from Irving. Free throws good from Irving. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Down by 15. Pass to Valentunas. And stolen by Irving. Outside, Green. Here's Bullock, covered by Ingram. Irving for three. Knocks down the triple. Irving's got 41. I mean, he is bringing his game, guys. Another jumper from distance. Richardson, the pass to Valanciunas. McCullum against Doncic. The kick out to Richardson. Valanciunas with a screen on Irving. And again, no good by New Orleans. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Pass to Bullock. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. Shooting for Dallas. Reggie Bullock at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Hardaway's checked in for Green. And he makes both free throws. Well, Grant, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instructional here. What's it all about? VA, oh, first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you. But I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. Hardaway, and the 10-footer finds the target. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Now here's McCollum. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! He makes it look effortless out there. Until the defense actually presents a challenge for him, expect those kind of results. Dallas has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Doncic passes to Irving. Irving is doubled. Balanchunas against Doncic. Powell left side. And Powell with the stuff. You know, the instincts of Luka Doncic are second to none. Such a natural playmaker. The Pelicans have gotten six of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Valanchunas, good. He's been shooting with great consistency tonight. Love to see that confident play on offense. The Mavericks shooting the ball incredibly well tonight. 73% from the floor. Doncic outside. And Doncic hammers it home. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. The Pelicans have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Ingram, the pass to Valanciunas. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Valanciunas has got 15 points in just the second half. And here's Dallas. 
Doncic outside. And they doubled up Irving. Back to Doncic. And he's going for the lob. Powell passes to Irving. Five on the clock. Again, the Mavericks. Good for two more. Relentless in his approach. He has one thing on his mind. Close this game out. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. McCullum against Doncic. Outside Richardson. Valanchunas with a screen on Irving. Here's Richardson. Here's Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. And I think Valanchunas is Lithuanian for can't miss. I'll have to look that up. And here is Irving. And another inductee into the 2022 Hall of Fame, All-Star Tim Hardaway. Brent, you were a teammate of his for a little while. Any recollections? B.A., if I go back to Tim Hardaway, I don't think about my time in Miami, which was a cup of coffee for me. I, I go back to my college days, and I had the chance to go home to the Bay Area and be in Oakland in the summertime. And Chris Mullen, Mitch Richmond, and one Tim Hardaway, Hall of Famer, invited me into that gym to work out in the summer. So you talk about a genuine thrill to be on the summer floor with Run TMC. What a treat. That's good from Doncic. The Pelicans making a switch here. Alvarado's checked in. The Mavericks making a switch here. Doncic hits them both. And for the Pelicans, they're shooting 60% here in the fourth quarter. Terrific efficiency. Here's Ingram. Hauled in by McGee. McGee's got four rebounds now. Dallas has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Outside Hardaway. Boy, viewership numbers are on the rise. NBA business is booming. I guess it's a good time to own a piece, eh, Grant? Hey, B.A., you said it best. The league is in great shape. We have great leadership, talent. It's an exciting time, and I think the league has more growth globally in the years to come. Now here's Ingram. Over Holiday, here's Valanciunas. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Valanciunas has got 10 points now, just in this quarter. And for Dallas, their shooting has been incredible, 72%. <laughs> Safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Mavericks. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And for the year now, they've chalked up 35 wins. And they end up winning the season series. Always feels good to have that upper hand over an opponent. And what a huge performance it was for Kyrie Irving. The scoring effort from him, unreal. Carrying this team. I mean, he was amazing tonight. At the line for two. And he makes a first. The Pelicans making a switch here. Both free throws good from Ingram. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Doncic outside. And they doubled up Doncic. 
Three-pointer holiday. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. We got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Valanciunas sets a screen. Oh, McGee with the block. They retain possession. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. And so it's the Mavericks taking care of business in this one. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement in DBA. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. All right, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Kyrie, the offense was clicking tonight. Can you talk about the impact of ball movement on your success? It's very important. Um, we trust each other like that on both ends of the floor, especially offensively. It makes it easier for all of us to be aggressive, and I think that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we just got to keep it going. Fans deserve us to move up in these standings, man. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. This team is as deep as it gets. They're all willing to put the work in, guys. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving.